hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be taking you along with me in the day in the life of a night shift cna I would like to start off by saying that I am a nursing student and so a lot of my time is taken up by studying um, and during the week my regular schedule is me waking up really early going to school and going from there so on the day that I do have a night shift I wake up still really early at about 5 a.m. and I'll stay up studying doing homework going to the gym until about 12 1 and I'll get me in about a four hour nap before I need to wake up at 5 and leave the house at 5 30 to and get on time to work To start off the shift, we'll start by getting report from the day shift CNAs that were there. And then from there, I will go by each room that I was assigned and start taking vitals. Okay guys, so what I do is I go by each patient's room and I take their blood pressure, um, I take their vitals, and I write my name on the board right here. I write the nurse's name and I go by each of my patient's room and I do this um, basically as soon as I get in and start the shift. And then about an hour later at 8.30, I'll do this again so that I can take their blood sugar. In between that time, I usually like fill my cart and chart a little bit. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it since he's sliding both in. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. After I finish going to each room to take vitals, I now start my rounds. And rounds is where you go again back to each room. You check on everyone. You make sure that um, if they don't already have on their night clothes, you get them in their night clothes. If they're not clean, you help them get clean. Just help them overall get ready for bed if they're not already ready. So believe it or not, after taking vitals, doing rounds, making sure everyone is okay and good and settled, it's about three maybe sometimes four hours into the shift and from this point until about i would say 4 a.m i am basically just charting and answering call lights for patients who call throughout the night this can be because they need a change um, they need help with something it can really range from anything now, some of you guys have commented, which is better, day shift or night shift? And I am definitely so biased for night shift. One, as you can see here, all of my call lights are green. I am always able to check on my patients. They, well, as soon as they ring their call light, I'm literally there within seconds. And so I just feel like, honestly, a better CNA during the night shift because I'm on it, I'm more efficient, and I get to my patients quicker. Another reason that I love, love, love night shift, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am a student, specifically a nursing student. So as you can imagine, I am surrounded by nurses as I'm at work. And because I am on night shift, not only do I get a little bit of time to maybe go over notes, do a little bit of studying, but I also have people around me who I literally want to become like. And there's literally been a few times where I'll have a skills exam coming up and I'll ask one of the nurses, hey, can you show me how to do a catheter insertion? Can you show me how to push meds? And they have literally showed me and I'm just so grateful for that, being able to see things hands on. So what do you think? If you are a nurse or a CNA like me, what shift would work better for your schedule, day or night shift? For me, it's obviously night. And 
I think you really just have to consider your own schedule, what your everyday life consists of and go from there. And because my shift ends at seven, like I mentioned before, at about 4 a.m., I'll start rechecking vitals and getting everyone up and ready who needs to be up for rehab or if they have something for that day schedule. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is my day in the life of a night shift CNA. I hope you guys enjoy. Blood and murder, there ain't no second chance.